Now you've got a case where teammates of mine and the Matildas are, are getting recognised not only here when they come back from the Matildas but globally as well. And the fact that we've got girls in the top, top clubs now overseas in Europe, it kind of reminds me a little bit honestly of the era when we had Harry Kiel and Viduka when they were all playing you know, for, for Liverpool and Leeds and, and now we've got girls playing for Arsenal, for Chelsea, for Manchester City and they're the top clubs in the world. It's been a huge 2023 for the Matildas. The way the Australian public got behind us is something I don't think anyone's ever going to forget and hopefully it continues to stay that way. Yeah, obviously a successful tournament for us. I do think we, we came up a little bit short. I mean, we came fourth in the Olympics um, to then come fourth again in another major tournament is, is a bit of a bummer, but I mean, it just shows the direction the national team's going in and hopefully next year we can qualify for, for Paris and we can hopefully have some silverware to show for our success. A tough end to 2023 with the Matildas. What was kind of the message in the dressing room after those two matches? Yeah, I think it was it was still honestly a positive camp. I mean, to to get those results, obviously you you go into every camp wanting to win first and foremost, that, of course. Um, but for some of these younger players to come in and get the experience they did, I think that's just you know you can't you can't replicate that within your club um, footy. So to be able to come in, play against a top ten side in Canada who are the reigning gold medalists in the world, it's it's experience that. You know, you've, you've got to be able to, to give them, and that was really good. I think, you know, we, like I said, to, to be part of Christine Sinclair's final match was also special. Obviously, wanted a different result, but for her to, to go out the way she did, um, yeah, I mean, she's a legend of the game, so it was, it was pretty special to witness that. Um, let's talk about San Diego Wave and your season. How would you sum up the latest campaign? Yeah, successful. I think being an expansion team last year to, to them winning the Shield this year, I think is massive. I mean, we're only, you know, two, two years young in the season and in, in the in the competition, sorry. And yeah, I think our seasons have spoke for themselves. We, we had a massive year again, um, just fell short making that championship game, which was a bit of a bummer. But, you know, obviously next year, two more teams being added to the competition, which is only going to make it even stronger. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to see what next year brings. You played basically everywhere. Where have you enjoyed your football the most, do you think? I've enjoyed my football the most, I have to say, where I am right now in San Diego. I'm under, um, you know, an unbelievable staff. You know, we've got Jill Ellis as our president of the club who, you know, her career speaks for itself. And to be coached by Casey Stoney, she's, yeah, she, you learn every single week you go into training. She gets the best out of the playing group. I mean, to come in an expansion team, to you know, to make the playoffs the first season, then to win the Shield the second season, I think that's just huge, and it just it speaks about you know her coaching ability. So um, I'm really enjoying my time there. Um, we've got a very competitive team, um, and for me, I, I also think the NWSL is the most competitive league in the world. Would you ever go back to the WSL? Um, look, I never say never, but I think for me at the moment I'm, I'm playing really well and um, I'm really enjoying my time at San Diego and we've got, you know, some of the world's best players there that I get to train alongside every single day. And yeah, I, I really love um, the environment that they're creating and the culture they're creating at that club. I hear you've got a clinic today. Would you mind telling us what that is about and why you're doing that? Yeah, I love it. I mean, whenever you can give back to the community, it's, it's a no-brainer and, you know, Newcastle is such a a little niche town and people who've been here and grown up here, I think they, they understand what representing Newcastle is all about. It's a special feeling and, and for me, I love coming home and, and giving back to the community. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.